round one. Uh, well. Yep, this is a keep. Keep hand. Syncopate on the, the draw, not as good as on the play, because I can't counter his turn to play. But uh, we have all our mana and we have a stab wound. Now we have a Tower Drake, and apparently we also have an Isid Charm. Uh, let's play out our island. Is a charm is is a charm is okay. Uh, in case we get mana screwed, we can just is a charm. Uh, he has no. That's that's pretty good actually, because if he has a turn three play now, we can just syncopate it. Um, let's yeah, let's drop mountain for mountain reasons. Sunspire Griffin, no. -uh. Pay one. Can you pay one? No, you can't. Exiled. Started a chat with you. You two, ow. <laughs> oh, hey, guy. I wish you a pleasant game. Ouch. Oh, dude. Not cool. Now let's keep let's keep this swamp for now in our hand. Play and play Drake. Uh, I'd rather just drop Swamp Stab with one of his guys. Wayfaring Temple. He has nothing to populate, so I don't really need to block it right now. We can just keep some doors. I have to drop Swamp Knight to play Doorkeeper and keep his charm open. So play Swamp and play... tap our mana correctly. Seller of Songbird. That's pretty annoying, the, the bird token blocks out our uh, Tower Drake. He's attacking in. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, I'll just block here. Uh, if he has a Swift Justice, I will counter it. Okay, uh, we miss our land drop, but here I think the place to oh. just stab with his Wayfaring Temple. Uh, let his Burg token through, I suppose. Fake Dispel. Uh, okay, and pass. Pass the turn. Yield to that. So he picked up one of the two rogues passages we passed. So he's just jump checking me. If he wants to trade a giant grow for my doorkeeper, that's that's okay. He has no play. That that sounds uh, that smells like uh, what's it called? Eyes in disguise. So I think I will be keeping is a charm up to counter that, or I could just play rune wing and start swinging. That's a tough one, actually. I I don't think at six mana and three cards in hand he has nothing. So, I think I, I keep is a charm open even and if he has no play, which I really doubt, uh, I can still doorkeeper him. 
where I could just visit Charm, kill his seller, or kill his bird and the Wayfaring Temple. No, I can't actually counter because he he has he can pay two mana. Tristanis Judgment, okay. So uh can't target non creature spell. So it wasn't was what I expected, but that was pretty good. I keep forgetting about Trastani's judgment. I don't think we saw one. So he really wants to populate, huh? Alright, so we draw our annihilating fire mana it's not skyland predator mana yet unfortunately um, so I have options here I could play the rune wing take another one give him another bird token he takes another two and then I fire him Yeah, I think I like that because I can start swinging in with this and he keeps taking two mana and I can always impact his face. I don't think I'm in any threat of dying to this, even though it grows bigger. He he has to use all his mana uh, each turn, so he isn't playing any, any bigger threats. And I think I can deal with 1-1 with one, one bird tokens. He keeps taking two a turn from, from Stab Wound, so that's an issue for him. Grudge Beetle. Okay. So he's out of an alien fire range right now. Giant to trample over. I think I swing in with Runewing first. I I could swing with with Runewing, and then fire his uh, Blood Fray Giant because it would drop down to a three three. Let's see what he does. If if he just lets it through, or if he jumps, or even or if he trades, no, he just lets he just lets it happen. So actually, uh, one, two, three, four, five. So he doesn't know it, but he's on a four-turn clock here. Hmm. I could keep up an Annihilating Fire, or I could drop the Blob Freight Giant. But Giant just, just trades, even though it has Trample. I mean, I'm going to take at least four. So that could be an issue. But as long as he has Stab Wound, I, I think I can risk it. It has been a while since I've played RTR, so I don't know if he has something huge, huge he can play. Apparently he does. Towering Indrick, now it's a 5-5. Five, five. I could trade my Tower Drake and an Annihilating, annihilating Fire, but that means I would 3 for 1 me. 3 for 1 myself, jeez. Maybe I just, just throw away the Orkeeper here. Hmm. Okay, let's look at our options here. Uh, the Towering Indrick blocks our flyers. I could um, 
trade this here, jump here, take four. He goes down to six. And if I draw a land, he's dead. Yeah, that seems all right. Or maybe I just do it here because uh, it's going to be so expensive to to scavenge that he isn't going to be able to to um, what's it called again? To scavenge and to to uh, activate Rogue's Passage. So I can always jump. So I draw that land. Can he win in one turn? I don't think he can win in one turn. So I just I just pass here. Yeah, I pass and see what, what's going to happen. I can always flash in a predator or explosive impact or annihilating fire something. Phantom General. Well, that's something I'm going to fire for sure. So I think I just jump this here. Jump this here, take six, yeah. If he has swift justice or something, I will just fire my own uh, rune wing so he doesn't gain the life. Nope, nothing. Rune wing dies. When rune wing dies, draw a card. It's not if rune wing dies. It's like, oh, he's gonna die for sure. He's a fly. He's a two-two. Say okay. Draw out Transkilled Promenade. See if he has anything, and on the end step, I will just impact him. Impact his face. So he think he's thinking about something here. During after combat damage has already been done. Boom. So he's dead. He's actually just dead because now I'm going to pass the turn. I don't even need to show him anything more in my hand. Populate creatures you control are indestructible this turn. So he's showing me pop. He's showing me a rootborn defense. Need to keep that in mind. So he has he has a good deck. He does. Um, if I hadn't drawn the stab wound, that still would be okay. I, I did counter quite some of his plays, so yeah, this is going to be tough to deal with. Um, I think he has some instants, so maybe a bring in a uh, dispel just some additional counter magic uh, what what do I I don't want to to get rid of a creature it looks like I have to uh, probably bless the call of the yard one one isn't going to do anything against him even at two two so only 13 creatures. Uh, let's hope this this works out. We probably have enough counter magic to protect our creatures. Uh, yeah, this again looks keepable. Uh, again, syncopate on the play. Uh, on the on the draw. Um, we can't even counter his turn three pre blah, 
turn 3 play unless we draw a island. We don't. So it's just uh, mountain and turn 2 transkill promenade. No. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I thought it was a weird way to drop his own Transkill Promenade. Pay one, take two. Oh, he missed his second land drop. That's huge, actually. That is huge. I could fire his Drudge Beetle, but... I think I just play the Doorkeeper here. No, missed, missed the land drop again. We have no attacking creature, unfortunately. So we can't even capitalize on this. Don't want to give him any creature. We have to keep him down. Mm, is a charm, uh, but we have one, two, three. Yeah, we have thought flare mana up now. So again, I will just pass and at this end step, thought flare. Discard two, uh, discard the guild gate, and discard the island. Alright, play the island. Um, Cobble Brute or Lava Crew? I think Cobble Brute. Three, one, keep this a charm open because uh, we can. Uh, remove this and then start swinging him for five. Ah, there he is. there he goes. Centaur healer. Kill this. And kill this. And play Lobo Crew to get some pinging going. Also to Make our doorkeeper mill too. Uh, he missed that. That's that's really unfortunate that he's missing all his land drops. Wayfaring Temple isn't going to do anything for him. Unleash? Yes, please. Did I play a land? I'm not so sure. Uh, Milieu for two. Course is a court and the land.
No, oh, that guy tramples. Oh, he has a trick. Okay, I see. Giant growth. Yeah. Oh. So he trades. Place Blatterthark. Unleash. Uh, we have this game in the back pretty much. Uh, even if you play some creatures, I mean, I can still ping him. I still get in for at least three this turn, and if you play something big, I just uh, stab wound it. Ping you for one, and mill you for two. Herald and Plains. Oh, or I just do this. <laughs> Yeah, okay. So that's game. Uh, that was easy. And it was rather unfortunate that our opponent got mana screwed. I think he has a really good deck, especially with what we milled. I mean, Course is a Court with Faring Temple, Centaurus Herald. Uh, he just didn't get lucky. Turn game one, I could counter all his important plays, and turn two, the shuffle countered all his important plays. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys round two.